that was the spot. This is a foggy meadow. Very foggy indeed. All right, folks. I just saw a sign. It said, no campfires at Lake Valhalla. So, I'm sorry to announce that it appears I've died, but I've died a warrior's death, so I'm going to Valhalla. That's pretty cool. It only took, you know, a thousand some odd miles, and maybe it was the bear. Maybe the bear got me in my sleep, but I guess maybe I punched it, you know, before he he finished it. I don't know. I'll have to ask Odin, see what happened. But if I'm going to Valhalla, then it must have been pretty cool, right? Oh, well, I'll show you guys Valhalla soon. Hopefully Valhalla has Wi-Fi. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to show you ever my, I think, sixth day is the last one I uploaded. So, uh, yeah, it stops at day six. You won't know it, but I died and I went to Valhalla. All right, everybody. Here's Lake Valhalla. It's not as shiny as I thought. There's not as many naked people running around and beating each other up either. Maybe they don't necessarily have to be naked. But that's just kind of what I imagine. Maybe I'm thinking of the, the Scottish. Because they did that. You know, to scare their enemies. They're just running the battle naked. And they just be like, dude, what? What is this? I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll see. It's still early. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'm not giving it a fair shake. I'll, uh, oh, there you go. I will update you as the journey to Valhalla commences. All right, you guys, so I found the grove that has all of the naked Valkyries, but this isn't gonna be a very cool afterlife. Maybe I shouldn't have punched the bear in my sleep. Now what do I do? Okay, all right, so I found the path to where the beer garden is, where all of the ale and stuff is. Very disappointed. Very disappointed. I think I'm gonna go somewhere else. Oh, look, Lake Access. There you go. Well, no thank you. No Valkyries. No beer garden. I'll move on. All right, folks, here's a better look at Lake Valhalla. Before I go, it's a nice lake, I'll give it that, but they really should have got everything in order before I came here. As you see, I am back in the world of the living. Boy, that bear was angry when I got up. So I referred it to Valhalla. Um, you know, it's actually surprisingly easy to come back to life after you die. I went to, I think it was like guest services. Hard to tell because everything was like in Norwegian or something. But uh, yeah, it, uh, I went up to the counter and I said, I wanna see a manager. And the lady said, well, I'm sorry, but Odin is keeping his eye on something and uh, he, he's not gonna be back for a while. And I was like, ah, oh, well, I'm very dissatisfied with this afterlife. And she said, well, what's wrong? And I told her about the Valkyrie Grove 
and I told her about the beer garden. She said, yeah, yeah, I know, it's, it's been under repair. I said, well, how long is it gonna be? She said, uh, the way things are going right now, I mean, it could just be an eternity. I said, well, I don't have that kind of time. What kind of afterlife is this? She said, listen, we're sorry. We know, uh, we know this must be very frustrating for you. So, so what they did was they comped me another afterlife and they sent me back here. So I'm going to do my research and find a better one. But, uh, yeah, she also offered me a, funny enough, an American Express, but, uh, everything went towards frequent dire points, like frequent dire miles, I guess. I don't think I want to do it that much, but I got it anyway, just in case. So, anyway, now I'm resuming my adventure to the promised land of Canada. Well, I guess I can't actually make it to that promised land because the fires. So, I'm going as far as I can. And, uh... I guess I'll have to find some other promised land that's not maple and hockey related. Dang, I even made up a song for Canada too. Very disappointing. Anyway, I'll keep you updated if I have any more uh, dying experiences or trail experiences, I suppose. Wow, look at this mushroom. Dang. Yeah, lots of big old mushrooms today. This tree's got a bunch. I guess, uh, I guess more mushrooms are edible than I realized. I was talking with my grandparents and they're telling me about them. And, uh, well, I still would never try it <laughs> unless I had an expert around to be like, yeah, that one's a good one, or don't touch that one, you know? Very, uh, very unknown bit of, bit of science to me. And very kind of scary, too, you think about it, it's like... Only a slight difference it can mean a completely different thing, you know? It's like, oh yeah, this one has little ridges at the bottom, so it's edible. Or, was it the ridges on the bottom meant that it kills you? Ah. See, it's like little things like that. Oh man, if guest services lady sent me to Silent Hill, I'm gonna be so mad with so many complaints. Here we go, nice little stream here, a little waterfall coming down. I uh, think I'll collect some water. I'll try not to slip too. That would not be comfortable. The water's not as cold as I, expe I would expect it to be. It's not like ice cold, you know? Whew. It's got a little warmth to it. Maybe I'll roll around in it, get clean. I'll at least filter it and drink it though. That's for sure. Idiot check fail. Maybe, maybe a bear got him while he was getting berries. Or maybe he just left his stuff. That's why you always do an idiot check. Here we go. I mean, not a pristine view because you get all the clouds and all, but there you go. It's the view from near the top. Uh, 
very cloudy today. You know, the worst thing about the clouds, I have glasses and my glasses are foggy all the time. Okay, I've been seeing tons of berries, but I, really? I didn't know. I didn't know that these grew in the wild. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Well, I mean, it makes sense. You know, everything is kind of wild. Mostly, except for corn. I think corn is the most domesticated plant, but I, it's not something I expected to see. You know, green beans in a, in a mountain, in the wilderness. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Ooh, check out these berries, though. Oh. So this spot's kind of interesting because uh, I think it's because of all the clouds hitting the mountain. But there's random spots where it's raining, like right here, and then it stops raining in another spot, and you see it starts raining in a different spot. And it'll stop in another and sometimes that has to do with the trees you know like how it catches the the precipitation or whatever but sometimes there's just walls of rain and not rain and it's very sporadic and uh kind of neat it's nice to be in the rain and not be in the rain within seconds sometimes by choice <laughs> here we go haven't seen one of these in a while at least not nearly enough i know people don't always appreciate those but they bring back good memories now all right check this out this is nice this is nice oh, dark and scary i mean the only difference was more trees i guess but Still, sometimes it's just a complete change of scenery. And it started raining in that spot. It stopped raining in this one. You see? That's what I'm talking about. Starting and stopping. Little walls. So, I'm getting close to a peak. Apparently it's a rare instance where the PCT actually goes to the top of a peak because usually we go near them, but we don't go just to the top of the mountain, you know? Sometimes you have to do a little extra credit and hike for that. But getting close there, I think the altitude was 5,660 feet. I'll have to double check. I'll let you know so I'm not just blowing steam because there's enough fog out here. And, uh, uh, oh yes, yeah, so, earlier, you know, sometimes nature calls, you know, and it's, it's rarely convenient when you're in the wilderness, but, anyway, I found the best spot I could, and I thought I was well covered, and, uh, as I was pretty much done, but, <laughs> The, there's this guy that walked around the corner and, and just he uh, he got mooned he got, he got flashed it wasn't even night it's a good thing he wasn't a werewolf but uh I, I know I've been on the other side of the cheek before and it's not nice but I'll tell you it's not nice to be on this side either I'd like not to be the mooner or the moony but yeah poor dude he wanted to see views today but he didn't expect to see that yep so i just uh i just went over the top there it's coming down here i thought there would be a sign or something but no just uh it's just one of those things if you know you know so that was grizzly peak Here's a, here's a peak from Grizzly Peak. And, uh, uh, yes, so I, I looked into it and it was 
5,560 feet. So I overestimated, I'm sorry, I think by 100 feet, but if I said 56, maybe I said 60. Anyway, I overestimated, I'm pretty sure. So I, I don't want to tell tall tales about climbing tall mountains because this is at least a mile up. So it's like, is the air getting thin or am I? And the answer is both. Anyway, enough jokes about mountains and things. Uh, I'm going to walk another two miles down and then go back up again. Oh, that's ominous. I think it's also, that's kind of one of my favorite things. <laughs> Maybe it's even one of my favorite words, that precarious. It's ominous. Look at that, just a trail leading through a field, leading who knows where. I can't see from here. The mist obscures my vision. But you know, that's the fun of it, right? Is you, you figure it out. You take a walk down the trail, and eventually you're like, hey, I'm in a new place. That wasn't so ominous and scary after all. And then you get to a place where it's like, hey, there's fires ahead, and then <laughs> you can't go anymore. And you're like, no, I want to go to Canada. But anyway, I won't throw a fit. I'll just keep walking. Yeah, that's definitely like a way with like giant M. Night Shyamalan monsters and stuff. But the sticks, they tell me not to go that way, so I'm going this way. Maybe next time. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> it loops around anyway. Um, all right, so. M. Night Shyamalan monsters it is. All right, rock nerds, check this out. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? Wow. I have still not much idea on the formation of all this. Oh, look at that too. But I'll learn. You know, it's kind of like uh, that scene from the last Harry Potter movie when like, he dies, but he's not really dead. He goes to the, the foggy platform nine and three quarters and it's like, you know, a little Voldemort fetus on the ground and stuff. Yeah, I'm expecting to see one of those somewhere around here. If, uh, if I do, you know I'm gonna film it. Top Lake Trail. All right, well. Not going that way. Yep. So stay tuned. Maybe you'll see a little monster writhing on the ground. Unless the hill kills me, and then you'll still, you'll see me writhing on the ground. Check it out. They're fighting. Never mind, I broke it up, maybe. This is some National Geographic stuff here. Yeah. Oh, 
oh man, it's a three-way fight. I hope it's a fight, actually, but if not, I have to censor this. Who's the king of the rock? Yeah, that guy's a wuss. Yeah, get off the rock. Get off the rock. Get off the rock, yeah. Attack from behind. There are no allies here. Oh, this guy's getting double teamed. This is not your rock, buddy. Oh, he's faking them out. Oh, oh, um. Okay, okay. For a moment, I thought I was going to have to censor that. Oh, yeah, that was probably too rough. Too much violence. And now, I think they're done. The Alpha has asserted himself. I think the Alpha is the one in the back right. I think that's the one that went, oh, oh, going again. Yeah, they're at it. Yeah, you see, that's that's the king of the hill right there. Oh, 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 he's like, yeah, he's like, don't even go over there. Don't even mess around with that one. He's like, this is my rock. Oof. Never seen violent marmots before. Oh, yeah, 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 that guy's just getting his butt kicked. This one's like... You thought I forgot about you? You thought I forgot about you? Uh, let's go now. It's the battle for the mountain. It's the real battle for the mountain. It's not even sponsored by Mission Tortillas either. It's too violent to be sponsored by Mission Tortillas. Oh, this one's coming. All right, a little bit through the clouds. Starting to get to a part where, uh, I guess, the clouds are parting. Let's see if we can get another view. Uh, nah, trees. The trees. Yeah, so I smell the fire again. Now it's clearing out of the clouds. So I guess that was the good part of being, you know, around all the clouds and the, and the fog and the rain is it uh, took care of all of the ash and everything and the, the smoke smell. But now when I move beyond the clouds, sure I'll smell it more. Hopefully the air quality won't get too bad, but nothing like some good old rain to clean out the air, right? There you go. That's the Vista that we signed up for, right? Nice. All right. So a little update. Uh, just a couple minutes ago, I ran into some friends that I made on the trail much earlier. Well, not much earlier, it just feels much earlier, but around White Pass. Uh, I might have mentioned them, maybe, maybe not, but IPA and Iron Maiden. Uh, so they were telling me that they've 
they were going up and you know of course all the stuff happened with the fires blocking and they said that they you know are turning back because it's going to be easier to get a hitch from you know leavenworth or at least stevens lodge than it would be from up north because apparently rainy pass is uh, not open to cars or at the very least you need a four-wheel drive to access it because apparently there's a lot of messed up parts of the road so i suppose i'm going to try to figure out what to do i'm going to try to get information from other hikers i'll try to update my grandparents but service is kind of scarce out here at this part you know far north it's uh unlikely i'll have service so i'm going to see uh what i'll have to do maybe i'll have to do a little road walk <laughs> to get out who knows only time will tell hey check out the lake that looks pretty All right, folks, we just stopped off for lunch. It's 2.20, so it's a little past lunchtime, but I found a nice shady spot. It's a pretty neat view. And then I just noticed, does that look like more smoke? Looks like another fire. And that is actually kind of close. Freaking A, man. Oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my lunch here. I mean, it's not gonna make a difference one way or the other. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely a fire, but they're aware of it because they have planes flying around. Probably looking at it and scouting it out, but I figure they would find some way to tell us to get off the mountain if <laughs> if it was a danger but if worse comes to worse I have my beacon <sighs> but yep yeah kind of like real life the more I see the worse it looks yeah that's pretty scenic isn't it it's a nice view Yeah, it's a little mink. Where's your mom? How's it going, buddy? I'm seeing so many different wildlife here. I mean, I'm from Washington. I've never seen. Yeah, wow. That's so good to see this little guy. Ah. Uh, yeah. Going to jump down? I don't know. Are you gonna come back down? <laughs> do you have food? I mean, I do, but I feel bad eating it. Too. Right. For sure, they just got like baby birds. Oh, does he? Oh. Yeah. It's so cute. I can't believe that. Is that mink for sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a mink. Baby mm. well, birds out of Check out the view. <laughs> Listen to the wind. I'll feel it for you. Trust me, it feels amazing. 
So this is the view from another side of the mountain. Uh, it's maybe been a couple hours. Actually, I think I was just over there last time I I uh, looked at it. It's probably over around those rocks. Anyway, there you go. As you can see, there's one right there. That's kind of really close. Here you go, another view. That one to the left is kind of close. See the rest of the mountains for the view. Kind of a far cry from the uh, the morning I started with. I mean, I, I was just over there. But all the clouds, all the rain cleared up. And that's the smoke. There's a marmot family. Oh, they eat huckleberries? Oh. It's kind of cool how there's just that hill there, so it's like it's being held there, you know? This is the lake. Well, it looks like more than enough water for me to refill. I hope. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Check it out. Beautiful water. I'm going to drink this. Hydrate or die. All right. I'm going to have a little dinner here. Foggy overlooking this lake. This is actually a surprisingly warm lake. So, that's nice. It was, it was nice to refill my water because my hands didn't start freezing because of the water. It was just freezing because they were wet and the, the air is cold. Uh, yeah. Well, I think I overstayed my dinner. It's uh, getting kind of cold.